All right, let's do uh, postcards time. Let's use a little baseball analogy. If a outfielder can't make the throw from to home, he uses a cutoff man. Exactly. I knew you would like this because yeah. you can think about it in baseball terms. So when Fort Monroe's mighty cannons weren't mighty enough to send artillery all the way to Willoughby's Spit during the Civil War, a cutoff fort was built right in the middle of the harbor. And Fort Wall still stands on a man-made island today. Here's this week's postcard from Hampton Roads. Well, it had a major role in the Civil War, but Fort Wool stayed active up until World War II. These days, it's enjoying life as a landmark. In Hampton, I want to introduce you to Mike Cobb. He's with the Hampton History Museum, but has also written a book all about Fort Wool and its very important role in this nation's history. Thanks for working with us once again on the Carrie, Hampton Road Show. welcome to the island. Glad to have you here. Thank you. The trip getting out here was fun. Oh, we, we took the police boat and it flew across the water like an arrow. But people who want to visit Fort Wool We'll take something a little more slow and easy when they have the time to the cruise. The Hampton tour boat, broad beamed, beautiful boat, leaves the downtown Hampton, comes out here to the Fort Wall, and then goes across the roads to the Norfolk Naval Base. A lot of folks may get a glimpse of Fort Wall as they're coming across the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel, but may not realize that you can visit or what they're even looking at. Folks know it has some kind of relationship to Fort Monroe. It was built right after the War of 1812, designed by a French engineer, Simon Bernard, who had served with Napoleon. And the whole idea of this fort was to be a companion fort to Fort Monroe. First of all, they had to build the island. The notion was to have a crossfire between Fort Monroe and Fort Wool to uh, guard against ships coming into the harbor. This fort, Fort Wool, would have had 232 cannon four tiers of firepower and a garrison of a thousand men during wartime. It would have been a mighty fortress. What do you think surprises people most when they come to visit it today? Well, Carrie, a lot of things. One, you stand here, the view just takes, takes, takes you away. And, and you can't really describe it. Just being here, close your eyes and you can just, just feel it. But as far as the stories go, one of the stories uh, that people are surprised about is that President Andrew Jackson, the seventh president of the United States, came here often. This was his summer White House. He ran the country from this, this island, but from these rocks, he uh, made decisions on the nullification crisis, the Peggy Eaton affair, the sad story of Indian removal, the annexation of Texas with General Santa Ana, uh, the bank war, all those great issues of the age were fought right here on this rocky island. And the stories here that unfold are just surprising and, and magnificent. This little island has so much history to offer. It's just, it's just very, very, very wonderful. So make sure you mark your calendar to come visit Fort Wool and tell them the Hampton Roadshow sent you. Really neat place. Up until World War II, they sent folks out there after Pearl Harbor uh, was was bombed, and that's one of those places. You know, we think of the water as dividing, cutting right. up Hampton Roads, but you—that's one of the places where you can look and see how it really brings it together. And what a threat! If enemies could get into the harbor, they could go up the Elizabeth, you know, up the James, right. and get anywhere and attack from the waterway. So. That's great history. And learn yeah. about Andrew Jackson, yeah. all the cannons. He got stung by a jellyfish right in the forehead, swimming off of Fort Will. True story if had you want to no, hear. I, well, no I swear there's a ton of stories out there. We didn't have time for them all, but visit the Hampton History Museum to learn more, uh, and we will link that, put that link and put the story at thehamptonroadshow.com. It was really fun. That was good.